tens of millions of Americans endured bone-chilling temperatures, blizzard conditions and cancelled holiday gatherings on Friday from a winter storm that forecasters said was nearly unprecedented in its scope. Strong winds made it difficult for planes to land at Reagan National Airport in Virginia. with footage showing at least one aircraft being forced back into the sky due to the adverse conditions. More than 200 million people were under an advisory or warning on Friday, the National Weather Service said. A storm blanketed the Seattle area with ice, making roads hazardous and cancelling flights out of the region's biggest airport. In a Seattle neighborhood, people were salting sidewalks, clearing streets and driveways with shovels and preparing to stay warm. Forecasters say the ice should melt by the end of the day. Winter weather is blanketing the U.S. as a massive storm is bringing frigid temperatures, snow and floods. Flooding from the winter storm prompted for assistance in several New York communities on Friday. More than 200 million people, about 60% of the U.S. population, were under some form of winter weather advisory or warning on Friday. The National Weather Service says its warning map depicts one of the greatest extents of winter weather warnings and advisories ever. More than 3,400 flights within, into or out of the U.S. were cancelled on Friday and more than 458,000 homes and businesses were without power on Friday morning. Zachary is called the New York City Emergency Management Commissioner says heavy rain and tidal flooding will be followed by a big drop in temperature and strong winds. This is a difficult weather event. Uh, we needed to prepare not only for rain, um, but also a uh, tidal flooding that was made worse by the new moon, in addition to large amounts of wind offshore, that was piling water into New York Harbor, in addition to Jamaica Bay, adding about three foot above mean tide um, flood surge. In addition to that, and we sort of transitioned out of that phase, now we're starting to prepare the city for the next phase, which is going to be a precipitous drop in temperature, uh, going down to the low uh, teens, single digits over the weekend. In addition to that, that leads to potential for black ice because of the amount of precipitation and water on the ground um, that we also need to prepare for in addition to high winds up to 60 mile per hour gusts later today.